All right, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna get out here and I'm gonna try to get this, get this wheat sold right here with this fertilizer bug. Hey, I know we're gonna end up running some grass. I mean, running some ground. I know we're gonna end up running the field up. So I'm gonna go out here and then I'm gonna try it out. Yeah, if it is, it is. It ain't. It ain't. I can't let that. I can't let that uh, fertilizer sit up there too much longer. But it's already getting a little, just a little tad harder up there up top but once you slice around a little bit it's still you know still getting a little soft up now so i'm gonna go over here and i'm gonna fix this and um, we're gonna go out here and we're gonna we're gonna sow this wheat after these messages this wheat the ground is just a little soft I'm not tracking up the field as of right now thank God but anyway so as of right now I'm uh, while I'm fertilizing this wheat I got enough for uh, 40 acres in here and plus I'm gonna have to go back up town to go and get some more fertilizer uh, I know a lot of people say hey, Dion you got your sprayer I'm like well yeah I got the sprayer it's just I don't have time to put tips on right now. I don't have time to do none of that. I'm like, this is better for me just go ahead and do this. Uh, just go ahead and knock this out and be done with it. And, yeah, I can feel it's kind of heavy, a little, so. Well, we just gonna hush up and then we just gonna record and keep it moving. What I'm putting down is fertilizer right now and what I got added to it is potash. Potash is something else. I can't remember what it was, but I had it wrote down. I'm going with that same recipe everybody else is doing half and half. So that's what I'm doing right now. So clearly I have enough time to, because right now you see that I have my sprayer back and I also have the 8420. I got that back. So now we're waiting on two more other pieces. That'd be my combine and my other 8420, which is number one. So I know y'all asking questions, Dion. I know you for the trade, 80, uh, trade tractors, trade the 81. What are you? What are your plans with it? Well, this time it's not going to be me. So my uncle want to come out there and he want to. You want to get him a tractor. So I was like, well, then take the 81. Go ahead and knock that out, and then uh, that'll be on you. So uh, he want a tractor for himself. So, so evidently that's going to be in the blog. Yeah, I can't wait. That's going to tickle me to death that he got him a tractor. So basically he's trying to come out of retirement. <laughs> Which is okay. I'm all for that. Yeah. More help, more better. Hey. Look at it this way. It take a lot of stress out of me. You know that. Well, let's get out here. Let's go ahead and do some work. Man, I am 
literally running the field up. I mean, literally now. Just look at it. Really. Just mud bogging in a track. Mud, 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 mud. But hey, it's okay. I'm just, I really don't want to ditch this ground during the, during the, uh, summertime. I don't want to tear this ground up in no June and play toy bands. I really, I'm trying to get all the most that I can. This right here, man, God, this right here. Can't stand it. push on. Alright you guys, I'm done with this one. So I got all this, all this right off in here and all the way back down there in my house. So now we're going to go behind the water tank and then we're going to deal with that. And uh, looks like I'm about almost out. I'm going to get out and I'm going to check and see how much is in it when I pull out. Before I pull out. Well, let me get up here and uh, let me stop and let me see how much is in it. Let's get down and check and see how much is in it. Oh, we got a little bit left. Got a little bit left. Number two more rounds right there, and then I'll be done with that one. I just ran out of fertilizer. So I was close. So 40 acres worth of fertilized. Yeah, I was close. So next time I do that again, that'd be 45. So that's what it should have been. Oh, all right. That's all I'm going to do with that one. So let's go back to the shop and let's see what else we can get into. The next day. All right, you guys, we rolling on to the next day because my phone had died and then I had somewhere else to be. So we over here, I'm over here with number two, 8420. And I'm just trying to get a map of what I'm gonna do with this. Uh, so keep in mind, I already got the blades already. I got all the blades for the front, all of them for the front. And since I already done, done that, only thing I have to do is tighten the end of that boat right there, uh, on the very end, excuse me, a uh, point my own, on the very end, tighten that boat right there. So it's kind of snug just a little bit. So I'm gonna put some tension on it. Um, the next time uh, that I come back out here, um, this is what I'm gonna start on next is this one right here. And then I'm also gonna put, let's see, one, two, three, three bearings right here, eight brand new blade, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight brand new blades. So I kind of have to do this like one at a time because I'm that busy now. So I need to get this going. So, so that'd be another thing. And my tube had came in, which is we finna go work on here right now. Um, now, my 8420 number one, since this is number two, so number one is still getting worked on. It was something about the draft control, the sensor uh, that they're dealing with right now. So I told them go ahead and fix that because I'm gonna have to have it tracked by next week. Uh, we got done with the 81 spreading out fertilizer. You see the 4710 is here. And of course the money, the money truck is here. 
So we're gonna go up here and we're gonna deal with deal with this water wagon. Let me show y'all what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, now we're back on U.S. soil. Anyway, here's what I got. When found me one of these, it's old and it's rusty. Yes, I get it. So what I did was I took it to a, a neighbor shop and then I used this MIG well and I just welded it right there, right there, down there, whatever. But see, so now it ain't moving. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the boat off of here, right here, and then I'm gonna slide the tank in it. I'm not gonna show y'all the tank. So I'm gonna slide it in there and it's just gonna be sitting there. I will hook it up, but I ain't gonna. Matter of fact, let's just go on here and get it, get it done, shall we? There it is right there. That's what I did. So, as of right now, it doesn't fit. Wow. This is a 15 gallon. And I don't know why it won't slide down in there. I don't, don't ask questions. I don't even have a clue. Till I figure something out to make it, make it fit. Mm. Once you think you got something going and it just won't fit. But anyway, I'm just going to tell y'all this. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click the notification bell. If you have any questions, put it out in the link down in the description down below. I will get back with you later on, another day or whatever. I don't have time to deal with that. Not today, but I will deal with it. So till next time, holla.